Hi, I'm Phoebe. I'm the stylist for Kathy Cassidy TV. And I'm Eleanor and I'm the makeup artist. Together we'll be taking you behind the scenes on the CCTV film shoot. And we'll be showing you how to get the look for your favourite chocolate box girl. This is Sophie and she's playing the part of Sky and we're going to do her natural makeup look for today. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with just a tinted moisturiser, so it's a really light natural coverage and you can just apply really easy with the fingertips, so it just makes it really easy and natural. And what we'll do, just blend in and just use your fingertips and blend in around the T-section area. <laughs> <laughs> that up in any areas that's slightly red at all or anything like that and I can just cover it a little bit more. What we're also going to do is use a concealer under the eye. Again you can use your fingertips, really simple and just use a tiny little bit and then you can just blend in with a brush and look helpful. Next what we're going to do is we'll probably do eyebrows, very minimal effort. All you have to do is use a clear mascara, so it's just a clear gel, and just to tidy them up so you don't need to add any colour or anything. So just using the gel, brush up to shape the eyebrows in place, smooth them down, and just keeps them nice and tidy and it dries to set. We're going to do really natural eyes as well, so we're just going to do sort of quite a beigey pink colour over the lid. Okay, first one. Tap to remove any excess. Close your eyes for me. For your cheeks, we'll use a similar colour to the shadow so it sort of blends in quite nicely, just to enhance the cheeks a little bit. Probably go for one with a little bit a hint of rose to it as well. And just smile for me. Do the apple of the cheek. Blend up around the face. And for the eyes, we're going to use Scandalise Mascara. It's really nice, it's got a really thick brush, and you can adapt and build up the lashes to get a thicker look. You can just look down for me, lift in the lid, and just apply them. And lastly for lips, we're going to do quite a neutral colour, so it just is very similar to the, the colour of Sky's lips. And uh, it's quite a matte colour, so it's not got too much shine to it. Okay, and wrap together again. Very nice. <laughs> And now this is the total look for Sky, so very natural and a uh, nice sort of vintage simple look. We're going to do a fish plait today, it's quite a loose, uh, loose look, it's quite sort of vintage and soft. Uh, so what we're going to do is prep the hair first, just so that it all stays in place. We're going to give it a light coverage of hairspray first. And just close your eyes for me, it just gets in any little stray hairs keep it nice and tidy at the top at least and just brush it through. We're going to have it coming round to the side and then just brush it round, keeping the parting a little bit and brush it round. We'll keep it a bit loose around the side as well so not too harsh around the ears at the side either. We can leave these little bits loose so it's quite soft. Okay, so around the side here, what you need to do is just to split the hair into two sections, just like two sections like so. What we need to do is take a small section from the outside and bring it in to the centre of the second side. 
and do again the same for your other half. Small section from the outside and pull it in to the centre of the first side. It kind of looks a little bit like a plait, like you would do with three pieces, but just crosses over. And you just continue with that and do smaller sections. You don't have to pull it tight, just keep it quite loose. And as you go down, you can see the pattern as to why it's called a fishtail plait. As you come to the bottom as well, if you take slightly smaller sections so that it looks more defined. What we're gonna use is a clear elastic band, like these ones here. And the start, and because you kept it loose, you can now adjust it and just sort of play around with the plait a little bit and just finish off with a little bit of shine spray. And just close again for me. And there you have your simple fish plant. So this is Skye. Um, she's a real dreamer. She has her head in the clouds. She loves reading. She loves history. And that actually comes through in her clothes because she really loves wearing vintage. But vintage can be something that you pick up from your mum's closet, your granny's closet, ask first, <laughs> or find in charity shops, or you can get the look from the high street. So all these pieces are things I've picked from New Look. So we've got a beautiful lace dress, which, because Skye may have her head in the clouds, but she's also quite sensible deep down, so she's put it with a really cute, cosy cardigan. Pretty silver tights and some really comfy little pumps, which are also picking up on the lace theme. Her style icon is Alexa Chung. So again, Alexa's a big fan of these little Peter Pan collars. You often see her wearing those. And she wears lots of pretty little dresses, always with flat shoes. That's her trademark, so that's something Sky is big on, always flats. Again, we've got some vintage style bracelets going on and some little ring there. Those are pieces you could easily find in a charity shop as well. If you haven't got a lot to spend, don't worry, you can easily pick these pieces up either on the high street or in a charity shop. Another way to easily get Alexa's vintage inspired look is to buy one of these collars, which you could just wear over any old t-shirt you have already. We've got a couple. Another outfit I could style Sky in it would be this really pretty dress, which again has got the collar. And again, I would put something really cosy on top of that. This nice chunky cardigan, it's really cute. And I would just roll the sleeves up. And again, she could wear that with these pumps or with a pair of brogues, another Alexa favorite. These ones have got a really nice stud detail. Sky is very girly and feminine, but there's always a tomboy element to everything she wears. And we can see that in these Breton tops here. So a Breton top is a really classic vintage piece. Coco Chanel made the Breton top popular, and people have been wearing them ever since. This is another really popular one with Alexa. And you could easily just wear that with a pair of classic skinny jeans. I would put the brett on top and the skinny jeans with a pair of classic white pumps. So going through the rail, here are some more things I could dress Sky in. Really pretty vintage style peplum top with polka dots. A lovely delicate lace top which you wear just over a grey t-shirt with some jeans. And that's how you get Sky's look. Mm -hmm.